Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com. In this video, you're going to discover a new plugin that I found out about, I tested, and I'm really impressed with. It's early days, but if you're a Gutenberg aficionado, if you like to build your content in Gutenberg and move away from Elementor and Thrive and all the other page builders out there, this is one you might want to consider on a test site to see if it's right for you. So this plugin is called Cubely. Cubely, I guess blocks and cubes, I guess that kind of works together. So uh, Cubely is the Gu visual Gutenberg block toolkit. Blah, mouthful. Um, but a really nice little sales page here. I'm pretty sure the sales page was built in Cubely, but I can't really verify that. But you can see it has a lot of the standard uh, blocks that people are used to seeing in these um, types of plugins. But what makes this one a little unique, let's go ahead and find where I have it here. Here it is. Um, Again, it's early, a few installations, but it's being actively and aggressively uh, updated and maintained. So we'll go ahead and install this. So I want to show you kind of their wow feature they have here going for them. So we'll activate the plugin and let's write a new blog post. So I'll come here to post and add new and give you a quick little look at this plugin here. So already up top, you can see something that's unique. I do have Thrive Architect installed on this staging environment, but look, what's this? Import layout. Hmm, import layout. What's this? So if we click on this guy, import layout, it opens up something that is very similar to the content block feature of Thrive Architect, of the, I don't even know what they call it, the template kit of Breezy, of all the different libraries of tools out there. And this looks pretty nice, right? Like what's going on here? So what Cubely does for you is it gives you that entire ability to customize your layouts, uh, like all the other page builders do, very, very nicely. So let's find one we want to kind of test out with. And let's take this nice little hero section. I'll go ahead and import that into my content. And let's just save the draft and take a look at what we've done here. And let me make sure I've also in my layout for this pay for this post. Let's take away the, the sidebar in case there is one. And let's make this full width and stretched layout. And let's preview this guy. Okay, so we've got our, our you know, our normal theme stuff. But here, this is what Cubely did in one click. It pulled in a very nice looking kind of hero call to action section here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a couple more in so we can kind of see how this flows together to build out an entire page. Let's uh, just pick our crew that would fit under here. So you can start to see this is building out a nice kind of Ex what do you expect to see from a landing page or any sort of page builder type of content? And we're doing it here directly in the block editor with a nice import feature. So if we look here, let me hide myself and just kind of look at the, the customization and the user interface of this plugin. So like Elementor, they kind of gone the route of giving you a, a set number of options for each one of their features. So you can change the alignment of an image. You can switch it from a basic to a stack. Let's do that alignment again. They give you a lot of different options. So within this, this is called the team block. So within this block, you can change the image width. You know, you get a lot of control. Designation. So they even have the designation tab, which is an important one. So this one's called a sales manager. So you get the idea. Let's take a look at what some of the other plugins are or some of the other blocks that are within this plugin pack. So we go to Cubely here and open them up. We've got a row, a button, and advanced text, icons, Google Maps. Let's check out Google Maps. That's the one that's not too common. Now let's go to Orlando, Florida. See if we can see Mickey Mouse. All right, so we've got this. We can switch over to satellite. And if I save this, oh, look at this. You've even got map styles over here. This is pretty cool. So if we take a look at this um, new page that we've created and added a couple of blocks to and adjust some settings, you can see a nice, beautiful full width map showing up here as well. And this is pretty impressive for a free plugin. Um, it, it can do a lot of different things here. So let's keep going through and just kind of give you a little overview. We've got progress bars, counters, tabs, button groups. What's a button group? So here you can add multiple buttons and you hit the plus button, add more buttons, add icons to the buttons by turning icons on, selecting an icon, click here. Now, one thing I've noticed, and I'm not entirely sure why some of these plugins are doing this. Let me just show you a little problem that is coming up at least in my websites, maybe in yours as well, is the icons look italicized in the back end. And then when you look at it on the front end, everything seems to be kind of working itself out where, oops, there they are. And now the, itali the italicized is gone and there's regular text as well. So not entirely sure what's going on there, but just something to be aware of. 
So that was a first look at Cubely Blocks. It's an interesting plugin. Um, I've tested it on a few different websites. Uh, it seems to work really well. It doesn't add, add any HTTP request to my page speed. So that means it really is not going to slow down your website by installing this plugin. Uh, if you're looking for something that has pre-built in layout packs, this might be one. It's early. So I would say test it around a little bit and make sure you trust it before you put, put it onto your website. But it's one that might be worth taking a look at. I'm John from NCMesh.com. This is just a quick little plugin spotlight. I like to do these every now and then when I find something new and interesting that you guys might like as well. I know a lot of my YouTube subscribers are big on Gutenberg. And if you're interested in learning more about Gutenberg and kind of going through this entire process with me, I have launched a course a little while back called Gutenberg Hero. And you can get it by going to the link in the description below. If you enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.